Hi, I'm Pirate Suzanne. And I'm Pirate Larry. And today we're going to read to you Pirates Don't Change Diapers. Pirates don't change diapers. They don't even change their socks. I know because I used to be a pirate, but that's another story. Today, while I was wondering what to buy my mother for her birthday with the 27 cents in my pocket, mom came into the room. Jeremy Jacob, she said, I have to get some milk. Your dad's taking a nap, so try not to bother him. And she went out the door. She called, if your sister wakes up, Try to keep her happy. I'll be back soon. Oh, great, I thought. Keeping that baby happy is never easy. Mom had hardly been gone a minute when I heard a knock on the door. I peeked through the peephole. There were some old friends in the fr on the front porch. Ahoy there, Jeremy Jacob. Are we ever glad to see you, said Captain Braidbeard. We've run into a boatload of trouble. Our ship ran aground on a coral reef, the bow broke open, and our figurehead's nose tore right off. I had it carved special to look just like me blessed mother too. I, his, his mother, mother, the crew chorused. It'll have to be replaced, and that'll cost us a pretty penny, Braidbeard said. We be needing the treasure we buried in your backyard. Treasure, the pirates repeated. What with all the yelling, my baby sister woke up. It's a miracle my dad didn't wake up too. Arg, hollered Braidbeard. What be that caterwauling? That Bonnie Ann, I said, and I'm supposed to keep her quiet. You'll have to help me babysit. Babysit, Braidbeard scratched his head. Pirates don't sit on babies. No, no sitting, sitting on, on babies. babies, hollered the crew. But there was no way we'd be digging up treasure, I told them, until Bonnie Ann was happy again. That's how pirates became babysitters. Bonnie Ann always had her diaper changed after her nap, but the pirates needed a lot of practice. Things really got interesting when the crew ran out of diapers. Look, there's a cat with diapers on, a dog with diapers on. He's got a diaper on his head. Silly pirate. Then it was Bonnie Ann's lunchtime, and when she gets hungry, everybody knows it. Braidbeard sniffed the baby food. Shiver me timbers, he yelled. What be this vile smelling swill? Strained spinach, I told him. Strained spinach, Braidbeard said. A bilge rat wouldn't eat this stuff. Then Bonnie Ann sneezed. I got out of the way just in time. Our strained, strained spinach, spinach, wailed the pirates. When Bonnie Ann was finally changed and fed, we thought we'd be able to get outside to dig. But every time we tried to sneak away, the baby got fussy again. She does that a lot. Now, what does this wee mutineer want, Braidbeard demanded. Maybe you should rock her, I said. I then bellowed Braidbeard. Rock on, me hearties. Rock, rock on, on, cheered the crew. Not that kind of rock, I groaned. Use the rocking chair. When the rocking didn't work, we tried pirate peekaboo. We danced a pirate jig. We sang sea chanties. Look, I whispered, she's falling asleep again. Quick, let's dig up the treasure now. Time to dig, laddies, commanded Braidbeard. Shush, I said, not so loud. Not, not so, so loud, loud, roared the pirates. Funny and caterwauled until we found the only person who could keep her quiet. Quicker than you can say, scurvy dog, we headed out the door to get the treasure. The map, Braidbeard said, hand over the map. The, the map, map, 
Everybody emptied their pockets. No luck. The wee lass, she must have it. Braid Beard hollered and we all ran for the house. But the map wasn't there. Neither was Bonnie Ann. The map, cried B Braid Beard. The, the treasure, boomed the crew. The baby, I yelled louder than anyone. After all, she is my sister. And I was getting really worried. We searched all over the house, then ran back outside. We stopped so fast we were almost pirate pancakes. There was Bonnie Ann, and she had the map. A vast yelled Braidbeard. The wee lass has eaten it. Now we'll never be able to fix the ship. War marooned. Marooned, marooned, mourned the others. Maybe not, I said. Thanks to my little sister, I think I know exactly where to dig. With all us digging, we found the treasure in no time. Braidbeard opened the chest and grinned. Choose your reward, Jeremy Jacob. You've earned your fair share. It didn't take me long to decide. Green is my mom's favorite color. If you need a babysitter again, matey, Braidbeard said, you know how to find us. Just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Up, up yonder, yonder pole, pole, I shouted, as the pirates headed back to their ship and on to Oak Island. Bonnie, Ann, and I ran straight for the house. We had a birthday present to wrap. The end. Now, that's the end of the story. Do you think there were real pirates that went to Jeremy Jacobs' house, or did he use his imagination? Well, if you like to play pirates at home, you can make your very own pirate hat, or you can make it like this with a newspaper, or you could make your own pirate map. Piece of white paper, and you can draw your map, hide something in the backyard, make sure you put an X where you hide it, draw it all, all out on your map, and then ask your brothers, sisters, moms, or dads to find your treasure. I think that would be a fun game. Be a good pirate. Bye-bye.